the hippopotamus came out in 2017 and is based on the novel by Stephen Fry. It is about a disgraced poet, Ted Wallace, who has just kind of lost his job as a theatre critic and is kind of lost for things to do. So, and, and a person from his past appears and asks him to investigate something at this country manor, a place where Ted used to live. And he goes out there, unsure of what he's to investigate, and pretty soon becomes apparent that he's to investigate so-called miracles that are happening at this country manor. It's full of kind of, sort of rich stereotypes. It brings all these characters together. It's hard to distinguish between them. They're all very similarly based characters who have similar tics. It, it, they kind of get lost in amongst the muddle. And the only character that really sticks out is Ted because he is such a horrible lead character. He is an egotistical, pompous cynic who just revels in making people uneasy with the use of foul language and telling people exactly how it is. Although, on the plus point, he is telling people exactly how it is. He is truthful regardless of whether it's going to hurt people or not. He just doesn't seem to care and he's also, you know, an alcoholic. And we get to see things through Ted's eyes, you know, he's kind of reconnecting with people that he burnt bridges with because of his so-called uh, cynicism and uh, speaking the truth. It's also a very good mystery, but it's basically a comedy first. The mystery is something that you're trying to figure out uh, why people are believing these miracles are happening, why they continue to believe it and why they actually want to believe that it's happening as well. You've got Ted who, like we said, is cynical to a fault and he just doesn't believe that this is happening and is looking for the, the problem uh, and to why people are buying into this. And he's also kind of solving some issues that he's had in his history and issues that he's trying to work through just now because of the state of his life that it's in. The comedy is very witty, it's very verbal, much like Stephen Fry's comedy. If you know the man's voice, it is all the way through this movie. It has his fingerprints all the way over it, even though he didn't write the screenplay, but he did write the novel, so a lot of his humour is built into the movie. So if you like Stephen Fry's humour, you're going to pretty much like a lot of what goes on here in The Hippopotamus. The acting is terrific. Uh, particularly Roger Alway, who is Ted. I think he's, he does a masterful performance and I could quite easily have seen Stephen Fry uh, playing this role as well, although Alway does particularly well as this nasty, nasty man who's pretty funny to watch. The ending of the movie also is kind of, kind of bad taste, I would say, but it's my kind of bad taste. I thought it was a hilarious reason as to why people believed these miracles were happening or how they were happening. And it still just makes me giggle thinking about it right now, which is always a good sign. Like I said, it's full of these characters who don't really have their own individual voices other than Ted. But it is Ted's story and Ted is the protagonist, the person that we're following throughout this tale. So in that front, I still kind of like the movie. I don't know if I would go back to it, but I, I did enjoy it while I was watching it. It wasn't one that I thought, you know, I need to watch this. I think you should check out The Hippopotamus. It's on Netflix right now in the US and the UK and I think it is worth your time. It's something that could quite easily be missed or something that you wouldn't normally check out. And like I said, it's got some good acting and it's got some funny jokes in it as well. I gave it three out of five and that ending just, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of bleak, kind of dark, kind of funny. Let me know what you thought of it and I'll see you next time in Man vs Film.